brown adipose tissue is almost it is like it is completely mingled through the ribs and then up into the clavicular space and up into the neck just a bit it's an odd location right and it's certainly not something you can look at and say well gosh my brown fat sure is getting big you wouldn't see it because it's so enmeshed within the cavity itself my speculation is that we have brown fat there in order to ensure all of the blood that's going to be coming up into the brain is warm in the in the event that the body is very cold that if we're cold everywhere else like you're immersed in a in an ice bath you can shiver um, because you have muscles everywhere from your neck down. Well, we have no muscles up in our head. There's no muscles to shiver to keep the brain warm. And so we have these little incubators around all of these blood vessels coming up, particularly the carotid vessels. Um, and, and, and we can warm all of the blood up before it gets to the brain. That is admittedly a little speculation, but I'm confident in it. Sex hormones largely determine where a person stores their fat. And when you look at a little boy and a little girl who are growing up, they look identical in their body shape. There's no difference until they reach puberty. And then the moment the sex hormones come into play, the sex hormones among the many effects they're having, metabolically speaking, determine where the body will store fat. They're literally like estradiol is literally enhancing the expression of enzymes that will dictate fat storage at breasts, hips, and buttocks. You know, the kind of prototypical female sites. Whereas the androgens are largely inert they don't really promote fat storage anywhere, but but the the only hint of it is is centrally, you know, abdominal. Um, now all of that is white adipose tissue. Anything you can pin, and that that is particularly true in females, um, because females relatively store so much more of their fat as subcutaneous fat than males do. Part of the androgen effect of fat storage is a little more visceral fat, so that's the fat that is enmeshed around the organs behind the muscle of the stomach um but but the 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 estrogens effect on fat storage is overwhelmingly subcutaneous and that's good because one subcutaneous fat produces more leptin than visceral fat does and two if you have a woman who's storing a lot of fat viscerally during especially during her reproductive years it is it may complicate the fact that you're about to grow a baby there and now that the the fetus is in the growing uterus is competing for very limited space with all of that visceral fat tissue the visceral fat would would be like actually pressing in on that very area and so it's no surprise to me that the female phenotype is designed more to store fat subcutaneously because it gets the fat out of the way of that critical area on her body for fertility women do naturally have a higher set point for for adipose tissue it is supposed to be that way <clears throat> part of it is the necessity for leptin women's uh a female fertility female fertility is is much more dependent on a higher amount of leptin than than male fertility is and i th i believe here's a little more speculation but it's informed that uh, that reflects the fact that the female body bears the metabolic burden of fertility the male has a brief wonderful moment and then his role in in essential role in fertility is is over now i would submit that the dad has a profound role through the life of the child of course um but but even still the 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 burden if you will and i don't want to use that term that term may be too loaded because having had a wife who, who was pregnant multiple times and we have beautiful children it's also incredible but it is a burden on her body a metabolic it's physically burden. and chemically demanding yeah Absolutely. yeah good yeah yeah. Right. Per, yeah, you said it. That's right. Um, so she, her body carries that metabolic burden. And basically, my my thought is that her brain needs to know that there's enough fat on her body to, to carry that baby, to develop that baby, to gestate that baby, because her metabolic rate will be higher during pregnancy than it has been at any other point in her entire life because she is working so hard to grow her own tissue and to give the energy to the baby. To grow the baby and then even when baby's born during lactation her metabolic rate stays very very high because she's still producing enough energy for two 